Imagine you just finished installing a traditional security system for a client. You set up cameras, ran cables to a local NVR, configured port forwarding, and made sure they could access the system remotely. After dealing with, you know, network settings, firewall rules, and all of that stuff. You've done everything right. Cameras installed, NVR set up, and remote access configured. But now, a few months down the line, the client calls. They need more cameras, but what? Their NVR is maxed out. Or worse, the art drive has failed and critical footage is lost forever. Suddenly, you're back on site troubleshooting upgraded hardware and dealing with a problem that well, it kind of feels like it should have been avoided. What if there was a way to install security system without these limitations? No NVR to manage, no storage headaches, no complex networking. A system that scales without too much effort and lets you and your client stay ahead of these problems before they even happen. Well, yeah, you guessed it. There is a solution like this. And today we're actually looking at Rhombus cloud-based security platform to understand how it can prevent you from such situation. Let's get to it. Using Rhombus cloud-based platform installers can set up a system in minutes. Each camera is like this one has a built-in solid stage storage so it keeps recording even if the internet goes down. And when connected, Footage syncs to the cloud base on the client's retention plan, giving them secured access from anywhere without worrying about hard drive failure. Now, let's look at their platform to understand how it works. And just so you know, before shipping their device, Rhombus assigned them to your account, streamlining the installation process and reducing the setup time. Now today we'll install the R230, a Wi-Fi dome camera with a one terabyte storage, 5 megapixel, IR, IP66, and IK10 rating, and also an environmental sensor that does a ton of detection. Vape, smoke, temperature, CO, and also audio detection. All right, we have our product. Let's jump to the interface. All right, so to access the console from Rhombus, all you need to do is go on their website and click on console sign-in. So that just shows that you have access from anywhere in the world to access your setup. Now, we have a global view of the dashboard, but we're starting here with the checklist that we have above. So we have a setup alert policy, set up our notifications, we can add additional users, and we can also manage the licenses. I think managing the licenses is actually quite nice. Here we only have one camera with one license, but from there, you can manage what's inside your camera. So we have the bandwidth usage here. So I can disable different things to make sure that the storage, it doesn't take too much space on my camera. And I can also choose to which camera I assign my license. So the, camera, the license is yours. You decide what you do with it. You can deactivate it for one site and put it for another site. You can also search by license and also by location. So if you have different locations, well, it's easy to find which camera you're looking for. Now, it is the same thing with the environmental sensor. So I have it here and I have my license that I can manage by clicking on it. And same thing, I decide to which sensor I want to give my license. Going back to the dashboard. So this part is pretty nice. As you can see, I have a bl blank spot on the right, but I can customize it to my need. Now, if I go down a little bit, I have access to different reports. So people counting, vehicle counting, alerts, and bandwidth usage, which gives me a nice overview of different setup. People counting is really nice for retail purposes. So you're able to manage this. In our case, we're looking at a back alley. So looking at the vehicle counting gives us some valuable information, depending on the case study we want to make with this, right? If we go a little bit down, we have also different phase detection. In that case, it was, well, you guessed it, mostly me. So when I did the installation of the camera and everything is stored on the camera itself. If I click on my face, I see myself installing the camera and I can actually review the action. So every face capture, you have access to footage so it's easy to understand the overall context of why this face was detected, depending on where you install your camera. You have your device status that I have on the bottom. I think I want to put it actually right here where I have my blank spot. So I customize my dashboard 
And as you can see, it's really easy. So you just grab and pull up. Now my screen is a little too big, so I'll do it in two times. And I put it next to my camera feed. I save instantly. I have a new dashboard that represents better what I wanted all around uh, on my Rumbus software. So really intuitive. I, I love this interface. It's really easy to access everything. Now we're going inside the device. As you can see again, only one camera. So I have a live view of what we're monitoring right now. And I have a timeline also that shows me the vehicle movements events and also different humans movement events right here. Now, if I go down, I have the different information about my camera. Uh, I can also share streams, reboot my camera, and I can also look at the map and create a heat map as well to understand where the action is taking place. We also have the events type that we have here. I think I'm gonna mention that maybe later on the environmental sensor side. Uh, you can also access the historical data. So what your camera actually recorded through all uh, it's all history, right? So now a little bit of loading time, but you have the video recording summary. You also have the bandwidth usage. So in terms of download and upload, I think that's really good when you have to manage bigger sites and you need to understand which camera takes more bandwidths. You also have the different types of visits, crowd counting. So this, when we're talking about cloud, it helps you manage in long term, right? If I go in even search, well, I have multiple options here. I can look for people, I can look for vehicles, I can do all events, and I can even do a region search. So I would draw on my screen a region and it will search exactly that spot. Now, I'm going inside the calendar to actually search for some people. As you can see here, I have different type of people right here. On my search bar, I can do a match face search. So if I have a face that is saved, I could look for that specific person. In our case, we're gonna do a search by color. So I hit green, maybe you've noticed there was someone with a green bag in the analytics we had. So you wait a little bit for it to download and there you have it, the person with the green bag. It appears on our screen. You have the human movement detection. So again, making it really easy to review a, a situation. I can do exactly the same thing with vehicles. And again, guys, th this is <laughs> all on the web page, so you have access to this from anywhere. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty instant when I do a search. So I click on the car right here. I'm able to have my vehicle detection right here. And same thing as the face. So it, when we're talking about car, yes, you have the colors, but instead of looking for a face, you would look for a license plate and it will pull up the car with the matching license plate that you have right here. You can combine all the events. So this gives you a more detailed view of the action. So you have vehicle movement with the time, you have human movement with the time. So it's just another way to search for different action. And as I mentioned, you have the region. So I will draw a box directly on the screen of my camera and it will pull out all the action that took place exactly on that spot. For example, here I see someone kind of doing something with his car. Okay, I think he's opening his trunk. So see, directly on there, you had some action. It was able to pull it out. So it eliminates the rest of the environment, making it easy for you to review. So you can really focus on a spot. Now, that was the camera. If I go inside the environmental sensor, it is similar. So lots of detail and the camera can be linked with the sensor. In our case, I installed a camera outside. As you can see, a lot of snow, so it wasn't 20 degrees outside. My environmental sensor was actually inside our lab. So different temperatures, but when you're looking for, let's say, vape detection, smoke detection, so you would receive an alert and you can connect to the camera to analyze the situation. If I go down, I have a lot of different metrics that I can monitor. Right now we have the temperature, so we have the highest point, a low point, and kind of the average that we have. And when I mentioned the events types, well, see all the detection you can monitor with this sensor. It's pretty crazy, honestly. They detect everything and nowhere, nowhere to hide. So here again, I have temperature, but I can change it. Uh, I think a popular one these days is vape and smoke. So as you can see here, it detected an action right here. 
and there's an unknown action more at the end. As I said earlier, this can be connected with your camera. So when you see an action detected, for example, here, you can connect to the camera and be able to review what actually happened here. I can access alerts, settings, so I have more information about my sensor right here, directly on my screen. And now if we go on location, this is linked with Google Map, and it's something I really like because you, you're normally managing more sites, right? You have maybe 10, 20, 100 sites, and they're across the whole city, maybe multiple cities, so maybe Laval, as we see, more north. And here I only have one camera. But if I'm managing multiple sites, this makes it easy for me to just access them, click on them, see all my cameras that I have, see all my devices. And as I mentioned before, well, you, you can look at the different bandwidth usage, you can look at your license and reattribute them between sites depending on your needs. So I think that this feature directly on the interface is really, really helpful. You also have the investigation part. So if there's an action there, you can go in the investigation, which makes it easier for you to pull out footage or even pull out different faces that were captured. So if I click on face right here, I have obviously again, <laughs> all my face that are here and now they're unmatched because I didn't have a picture of myself in the software. But as I mentioned before, you, you can go and manage and you can kind of build your report directly on the platform. So without signing out, going on another software, you can do everything from the Rhombus interface, which makes it really easy in any kind of situation when we're talking about security. Now, video wall, again, now one camera, so just we will see only one camera footage, but all your cameras could be displayed here for your site. You have your save videos and when you click on the bottom it's the logs and report so here i have my audit logs diagnostic logs my device inventory i have lots of information that i can look for uh, for all of my sites going back to the dashboard here you have also a search tool so if you have multiple sites it makes it easy to, for you to find your different devices uh oh yeah i changed the name everything is named people on the, on that uh, on our solution. So when I write people, I can see it's a location, a camera, an environmental sensor. I can also see people that works for people. Uh, in that case, there's Oleg and I that are registered to this specific site. I have access to my notification on top if I need any help or support and even my settings. And I, I think that this part is uh, uh, quite interesting so I can access my licenses, of course. But what I want to talk about um, is the third party integration. So of course you have everything here, but the third party integration for Rhombus is something that is quite unique and quite helpful in terms of managing sites. Uh, it can integrate with uh, Google Drive, it can integrate with Microsoft Azure. You also have access now, I believe, to ChatGPT as well. So you can integrate a lot of things inside your Rhombus interface to help you just makes, makes the management easier for you and your team. So as you can see, really easy to use and I, I like this more modern look that we have that you can customize to your needs, you can customize your own site and it changed the way security has been done in the past and I think this is a step in the right direction. We often hear people say they don't make things like they used to. Whether it's an old refrigerator, a classic car, and a vintage oven, older products were built to last. But when it comes to security, I think that sticking with outdated technology isn't a badge of quality, it's a liability. Traditional security systems weren't designed for today's world. That's why modern security, again, needs a modern solution. And Rhombus is one way to move forward. So what do you think? Honestly, I want to know in the comment below about this old debate of cloud versus on-premise security. Is one really better than the other or does it, does it depend on the context? All right, guys, I'm Jeremy from People Systems. See you on the next one.